Hello, I'm Arnez, and today in the basement collection, I'm going to be having a gander at Coil. Open up and let me in. Design and art by Edmund Millen, of course. Programming and design, Florian Himsel. Soundtrack, John Eric Carter. You see these two down there. S period of six months, release date, the 2nd of the 1st, 2008. I hate reading dates in that sense, it should go day, month, year, not month, day, year, why would you do that, I don't, it makes no sense to me, right, so, we've got coil q and I had a quick look at the coil deleted scene, and I'll sort of, you know, go over that in a minute, after we actually get into the game, so this is sort of some, some sketches of coil here, some character sketches, not really an idea what I'm looking at, so let's just jump into the game. Shall we? Loading coil. I missed it. Game by Edmund McMillan and Florian Himsel. Present coil with music by Carter. When she Would you stop? Do, do Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do this. Poison for coil and we're saying on the arcade wall. And buying music. Okay, that's cool. Right, I'm going to do this again because I didn't know that circling would, you know, would make me, you know, lose story. When she woke from the coil, time didn't wait for her. It just watched her whimper as it crushed her ego, cracking her just enough to reach inside. Okay. I think it's safe to say I am currently playing as a sperm. You, you, come on, get in the egg, boy. Come on, there you go. In you get. Never thought I'd be doing this in a game. There we go. He whispered as she was divided. This will make you remember that I'm a part of you. Each cell is marked by my name. You can't ever leave me. I'm all that you have. I've, like, fuck. Who am I? Do we push them out? Do we go away! Get out! Do we separate them? Do we... I, I presume we match them together? Yeah, so... Since, since now is probably a good time to, you know start and say what the fuck is going on the game is designed to like not tell you what's happening uh okay now it's time to read when we released her she could feel his wet hair run through her fingers as she descended into the darkness his face distorted by their distance faded into the night she was alone yet she could still feel him inside her his feeling was comforting and familiar but his presence scared her she knew he was still there watching her just out of the light waiting the fuck yeah so the game is going to be a lot of what the actual fuck is going on and the reason being for this is that edmund mcmillan basically said during his like indie game deleted scene oh fucking hell i can't you're not giving me a chance to speak game she would find herself reaching out to others taking small pieces of them with her as mementos these are the things she felt were important the things that made these people significant every aspect of her was being composed of others her arms grew stronger with every embrace, and lips grew fuller with every kiss. Yes. Now, can I actually say what the game was saying? I wanted to say. The game doesn't teach you what you're doing, because Ed McMillan's um, reasoning for it was because he wanted the game to be similar to how life is, and that it doesn't really come with an instructions manual, and you just kind of have to figure it out by your own experiences which is pretty much this entire game you just sort of have to hope that it goes well <laughs> she would lead them to him watching as his hands reached out to pull them away their essence consumed and nothing remained she would fantasize what would like to feel his hands on her body penetrating her and draining her into nothing it sounds uh pervy but it it's psychological not physical i have no idea what i'm looking at what the fuck like, literally, what the fuck am I looking at? Coil, you scare me. I don't know. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? I don't... What am I doing in this game? I have, like, almost no idea. Coil... What the fuck is going on? What? What? <laughs> I've... Oh, okay, those are rotations. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Does that suck them in? That sucks them in. Okay. 
As I was saying, the game doesn't have instructions. Yay! But time did pass. They fell into one another at first glance, their fingers intertwined as they walked. This wasn't what she used to she she was used to, but from here on things wouldn't be the same. And even though the longing the longing lingered for once in her life, she forgot about him. Is this how love works? <laughs> I'm not sure this is how love works, but you know, who am I to, who am I to, who am I to say otherwise? Yeah, the game is um supposed to be sort of based on. Oh 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 oh! Come on, love me, love me. <laughs> okay, let's read this first. After the dust settled and everyone had moved on, once again she was alone, and she only had herself to blame. If she'd have just embraced her feelings when they called to her, maybe she wouldn't have taken in so many of the things she later grew to hate. And maybe it was time to change, so she closed her eyes, pushing out every aspect of everyone she'd taken in, back into a world she never asked to be a part of. Ooh. What if I go push into the wall? I can't go push into the wall. Oh, that's a cool effect! Oh, that's a cool effect. Yeah, um, as I was saying, the game, um... I believe is based on how Edmund McMillan's, um, I believe his stepfather, I think, died of cancer? Don't quote me on that. I, I think it was, but I'm not 100% sure. Basically, the game is supposed to be taking a point of view. It's basically supposed to assume how his mother was feeling at the time. At least that's how he said. Just watch the thing yourself. She could feel him in the room with her. Her eyes darted around, searching for movement in the darkness, frantic and confused. Her breathing became fast and shallow as her eyes welled up with tears. If he was here, there was nothing she could do to stop him. Oh, sorry. He was here, and there was nothing she could do to stop him. She was scared. Scared of all the things she would be leaving. Scared of how she would be treated. Scared of what she had done. As the room grew dim, she could feel his hand reach out for her, touching her in a way that was comforting and familiar. She was leaving. As he picked her up, he pressed his cheek to hers. From here there is nothing, just as it was before. He... He something! He caressed... He caressed her cheek. He pressed... I can't fucking read it! He pressed his cheek to hers. He pressed his cheek to hers. I think that was it. Oh, okay. That was... That was it. Okay. So that was... That was interesting. I think if I played that without knowing any of the story or reasoning behind it, I would have been like, this is fucking stupid <laughs> and i wouldn't have enjoyed it a single bit and it just would have been it would have been nonsensical and it would have made absolutely no sense but the fact i watched the in the game the movie at least deleted scene of this it kind of explained a lot of what was going on in a game that makes almost no sense and i really think you should probably watch it so you have an idea of what Edmund's, like, creative vision was for this. Because it is, really isn't obvious. It really isn't obvious. Um, yeah, without seeing that, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have enjoyed this, like, at all. But. As it was. Okay, Fern, you shush now, I'm busy. But as it was, I quite enjoyed it. You just kind of, having the background information on it really did help to, you know, piece some things together and, you know, make the game look like it made some sense. So, yeah. So, that was Coil. I hope, I hope you enjoyed. Um. Yeah. What, what's, what's the indie game, the movie part for this? It'll, it'll. It'll make the game at least seem a little more sensical in the weirdest way possible, basically. So, yeah. So, <laughs> let's find out what I play next time. Cool's development name was Amore 
de morte. Okay. Okay, what next? Oh, we have the last one! Triacnid, an oldie but goodie. Right. Looks like we'll, I'll be playing that one next, then. I think that one's more of a games game than, you know, a psychedelic disco trip. We'll soon find out, eh? So, until next time, where we'll be finding out how Triacnid plays. Goodbye.